Dear students, in today's video lecture, I'm going to demonstrate how to write chemical equations, yeah. shapes and math equation in Microsoft Word. Often we have to write a lab report, a question paper or an assignment regarding chemistry in Microsoft Word. When it comes to chemical equations, most of the students find it difficult to write chemical equations in Microsoft Word. Let me demonstrate how you can easily write chemical equations in Microsoft Word. Suppose we have to write a combustion reaction between hexane and oxygen, then we can write press the caps lock and then write a normal hexane structure like this press 3 now on your keyboard press this minus button again ch2 minus ch2 and keep on doing that till you reach your desired length now these number of hydrogens in hexane needs to be in subscript how you can do that simply select this one now press the control or command key and keep on selecting the rest of the numbers like this when you are done you can go to home tab in the font group click on this downward arrow and right over here you can see we have this option subscript if you click over here and click on ok there you can see the numbers gets placed is subscript but there exists a shortcut as well let me show you Control z from your keyboard press Control and is equal or plus button together and there you can see subscript gets applied to the structure now from your keyboard press tab and click on this particular sign clear all formatting and hold the shift key and plus sign to insert plus let's put in oxygen o now press 2 again select the oxygen again press Control and plus sign to turn it into a subscript now we need to insert arrow to demonstrate the product formation. Go to insert the shapes and here we have this option line arrow. Click over it, simply draw it forward like this, change its color to black and if you want a little bit thicker arrow, go to shape outline and from here you can increase the weight. Let me go to one point and there it is. Now if your cursor is blinking right over here, press the tab key to move forward and it seems like the subscript is still active. In order to turn it off, simply go over here and check it off from here. Click on OK and there we are. Again plus H2O. Again click over here and select it. There is one easier option to select. Simply press the shift key and, and now press Control and plus sign to turn this to into a subscript. Similarly, go over here, shift and left arrow, Control plus there we are you can see our equation gets completed like this in chemistry we also need to write ionic equations or simply ions as well and for that we need to insert superscript as well let me demonstrate that by writing carbonate ion let me write co3 and minus 2 now this 3 needs to be a subscript while this minus 2 needs to be superscript so simply select this 3 control plus sign to turn it into a subscript and after that select 2 alongside minus and now you will have to press control and shift together when control and shift are pressed together simultaneously press plus sign and there you can see we have turned it into a superscript in this way you can write superscript in chemistry and if you have to draw cyclohexane or benzene in microsoft word then you can go to insert tab in shape option we have these shapes as well. You can see, click over here and draw it like this. And now go to shape fill and simply click on no fill. And you can see we have drawn cyclohexane. Now, if you need to insert some functional group into it, you can also do that. Let me demonstrate. For example, I want to insert alcoholic group into it. So what I would do that, go to insert and let me choose this text box. Write it like this, negative sign. Let me increase it you can see now go over here into shape fill click on no fill and shape outline no outline now simply hold it from here and drag it right to the place where you want this functional group to be attached and there we go in a similar fashion you can draw some other cyclic structures as well this is octagon turn off and there we are and we also need to write math equations in chemistry as well for example, now if you have to demonstrate molarity, how would you do that? Simply go into insert tape in equations, simply choose an equation that looks like molarity where we have number of moles over volume of solution in liter. So that is simply a division. So we can write like this. So I would write number of moles and at the bottom, click into this box, volume of solution in liters and over here click you can write molarity simply press ok and there we are and if you want it in a linear format you can simply click over here and it will be written like this click over in professional 
then it would look like this save as equation you can also separately save it as equation as well so in this way you can insert mathematics equation into microsoft word as well now the final thing that we need to discuss is shapes for example you want to draw a shape of a round button flask in microsoft word then you can do that by choosing suitable shape options from the shapes let me show you i'm going to click on this oval shape hold the shift key and draw a proportional circle like this again go to insert tape from the shapes we can choose this cylinder option click over it and draw a cylinder like this let me remove the border of this cylinder from the outline no outline and there we are in a similar fashion we can also remove this outline from this oval shape as well now simply click on the first one hold the control key and shift on this bottom part right click and turn them into a group now they are a group and you can move them around like this and let me demonstrate one more shape a rather complex shape as well for example you have to demonstrate electrolysis of some substance you can do that as well go to insert a from the shapes we can choose this cube click over here like this and let's give it a rather different color i think this one is better and let's suppose we have two electrodes placed right into it and we can do that as well let me select this rectangle and try it like this let's turn them into a 3d shape simply click over here into shape effects and and let's apply this preset 8 now go into shape effects again 3d rotation and use this particular option like this and now click over it press the control key to make a duplicate like this and there we are now we have to demonstrate some solution placed into it we can do that as well again hold this rectangle and draw a rectangle like this let me remove its outline now click over it go to format shape option and let me increase its transparency so that we could look through it like this and there we are now it looks like there's a solution within which these two electrodes are placed for using wires over here you can use this free from scribble as well let me demonstrate a wire like this and there we are and let's put in a voltmeter over here right click add a text let me write v for voltmeter so this way you can also make shapes like these in microsoft word sometimes we have to demonstrate a process like a cyclic process or a flow chart in chemistry as well and for that you can go to insert it click on smart art and out of these given options let me apply this cycle to demonstrate how we can choose smart art graphic to demonstrate a cyclic process now click over here click on ok and there we are let me decrease the size like this now you can insert your text over here and if you want some 3d options you can also choose it from here and you can also change its color from here as well like this let me apply some fancy style like this and there we are so that was it for today's tutorial i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching